UGC revise notification, UGC get it notification. Today, UGC has given a public notice regarding the clarification of this amendment. So whether you are confused that PhD is the mandatory criteria or not, or net, select, set, or any other examination is the minimum or the necessary criteria or not. So today we'll discuss all points with uh, today's UGC notice and the previous amendment and 2019-2021 amendments and what is the difference between these changes so that your point will be clear in mind what you're going to do in the next upcoming years. So the day before yesterday, UGC had uh, posted on Twitter handle about this change in the appointment as an assistant professor. So what was the criteria and they have mentioned like net set slet shall be the minimum criteria for the direct recruitment to the post of assistant professor for all the higher education. They have also released a notification like this is the notification in which they have clearly mentioned like net shall be the minimum criteria for the direct recruitment. But still there are a lot of confusion regarding this UGC has released a detailed notice in which each and every point is very much clear. So we'll discuss on that. So today we'll discuss like is PhD not mandatory? So can we stop doing the PhD or when can we stop planning to take admission in the PhD? I don't think yes, but after the discussion, you uh, you will able to answer this question, whether PhD is mandatory for your career or not, or only uh, the net set or select candidates will be selected for the higher positions, PhD will not be selected, no. So this is this will also be discussed. And what about the students who have completed their PhD, but unfortunately they have not qualified the net. So they are non-net students, plus they have completed the PhD from some uh, a very good institute, or I can say a central universities or an autonomous government institutions, but they are non-net. So are these type of profile will be wasted? They are not able to apply in the universities. No, I'll tell you why. And what will be the research environment if they will take the master students having the net set or slet without having any PhD uh, degree or without having any research experience? Only the thing is that they have a net certificate and the masters with minimum 55% marks. Can uh, that type of students will run or will create a research environment or what about the marking criteria when you apply any applications they will there is an api api score the net is of different marks grf is of different marks phd is of different marks so what about the ai so there is a lot of confusion but no problem see this is the clause this is the clause 3.3 .3 in which uh, it was clearly written that net or any other examination remains the minimum eligibility criteria for the appointment of assistant professor. So it was already mentioned. So why you guys are confused? So there is no need for confusion. Further set or slet shall also be the minimum criteria for uh, the direct recruitment in colleges. Now they have clearly mentioned initially, this is the initial clause. This is not the right. So you have to understand what was the clause, what was the amendment and now what changes has been included from the UGC. Now see, those who have awarded PhD degree according to the UGC rules of 2009 and 2016. So those students who have registered or who are under the clause of 2009 and 16 will be exempted from this net slate set or anything. So if I have a degree of the PhD as per the 2009 or 16 and I am a non-net student, I'm a non-net student, I'm not able to qualify the net LS, but I have a PhD 2009 and 16, then you are 
completely eligible for any assistant professor job direct recruitment you will be considered equivalent to whatever the amendment right now they have got it the first point make it very clear see and your phd must be as per the clause 2009 and 16 that it should be on a regular mode they have and two external examiner you must have a viva voice etc etc publication and that is the i can say a basic things fine so that was the clause 3.1 in which net or slat was not the minimum criteria now what happened please just, just see the changes this is very important do not skip otherwise your points will not be clear now in 2021 there was an amendment from the ugc and it was added in the minimum eligibility criteria and what was that relaxation of 5% that is a simple thing 55 to 50 percent marks masters 55 percent marks just forget about the relaxation just remember the basic points masters with 55 percent marks then 3.7 was phd degree shall be the mandatory qualification for the appointment and promotion to the post of professor and the phd shall be the mandatory qualification for the appointment and the promotion of the assistant associate professor and phd shall be the mandatory qualification for the promotion to the post of the assistant professor in universities and phd shall be the mandatory qualification for the direct recruitment or the post of the assistant professor with effective from 17 2021 so that was the amendment which was added that phd shall be the mandatory qualification correct is that clear so that was not in 2018 but the amendment was done in 2021 that phd will be the mandatory and net slate will be like a clause if you have then okay otherwise phd must be there so that was the amendment now what they have done they have changed initially i have already discussed so today ugc have released a notice public notice regarding the clarification what they have done see uh they have mentioned the clause 3 point the minimum qualification set for the regulation is net slat or set now the minimum qualification for assistant professor is net set and this is the minimum however this clause of 2019 also says that phd shall be the mandatory qualification for the direct recruitment in university effective from 2021 that i have already shown the applicability of this condition was extended till itna means this mandatory condition was exempted till 1st july 2023 but from 1st july 2023 it will not be mandatory so phd will not be mandatory now listen it very carefully those who are confused that i have already completed my phd right now because some uh, some students have commented like yesterday i have my phd was awarded like last month my phd was awarded i am going to award it in the next month what happens with my profile so let me clear it very uh, very clearly see a masters degree with 55% marks got it from indian university beside fulfilling the above qualification the candidate must have cleared the net conducted by ugc or any other uh, agency or who are or have been awarded a phd degree in accordance with the university regulation 2009 uh, or 16 and their amendment from the time to will be exempted so if your phd still still this is the clause so please do not get confused still this is the clause in 2023 that if your phd is 2009 or 16 then you will be exempted from the present clause which is net slat or set got it but what will be the scenario of those student who will be registered from july 2023 onwards so they must have qualified net at least they have to qualify net otherwise they will not be eligible because net will be the minimum eligibility criteria plus if you are phd then definitely your api 
and your profile will be a very strong compared to those master student those have masters plus 55 percent marks plus net now the applications will be more because phd is not mandatory a phd is not mandatory so once the application will be open in central universities now those students who have only master's degree without any research experience will not be rejected so no problem i can say so what what are you feeling for that so can a non phd candidate become assistant or associate professor i seriously don't think so so can will these affect the phd ordinance so what about the phd ordinance go and change all the phd ordinance then ugc must change all the phd ordinance no admission without net now they have to make a rule that there will be no registration without having phd if you want to if you want to maintain the condition if you want to maintain the thing then please maintain that there will be no admission without phd no phd guide how these type of student will guide the phd scholar because they are the non phd so non phd guide will be the guide of the phd scholars oh my goodness that is completely not feasible what about the ATI, api and maybe this is a possible in universities only i don't think so now can we quit now this is very important please do not skip just uh, post your comments so can we quit if i don't have the net i don't have the set or i don't have the slate or any other examination but i have a phd can we quit no i can say no do phd and make your profile strong i'm saying just forget about this all assistant professor jobs only do not stick on these types of profile only those students who just make their career like i will only become the assistant professor because i am doing the phd no just this is your wrong concepts there are a lot of options i'll show you like the teaching options the stick according to the amendment autonomous institutes iits nits and all research institutes they do not follow these guidelines your scope is unlimited i'm saying if you want a separate discussion on that then just please make a comment i'll tell you you can earn a lakhs of rupees in a month through entering this job and these all are regular job you can enter by joining the scientist post there are a lot of scientist post and there is a no criteria about the net about the masters about the graduation about the 12th 10th you can go abroad there is no amendment types of things and there are a lot of scope so if you want to discuss on these topics about the scope about the opportunities about the uh, like comparison with the regular job you just post the comments i have all the things with with solid proof i'll show you the proof like these are the things and this is the proof i'll not discuss i'll show you the proof so if you want then just post the comment so that i'll plan and clear your thoughts do not get confused about these types of small small amendments that can be done that can be today otherwise that can be demolished tomorrow so this is all about the changes still if you have any doubt just post your comments join our telegram group which is a unique group i can say for the research personal so thank you so much have a nice day will back in a next a uh, strong video to make your concepts and research profile a very strong compared to the other students thank you have a nice day bye bye take care